Hello everyone, welcome back to the Integrity Botanicals YouTube channel. Today I am doing my monthly What's New series. This is a series where I share with you all the latest and greatest green beauty launches on the Integrity Botanicals website. Um, I will give you my first impressions of these products if I've had a chance to try them as well. And most importantly, it gives us a chance to talk. What do you want to see from me? Please, even if it's not related to these new launches, this is a great time to share with me. I read every single comment, even if I don't get back to you right away. So never forget it. But do remember to subscribe to this channel as well. That way you don't miss these monthly series sharing all of the latest and greatest. So let's just dive right into it. First up for the month of July, I wanted to speak that the Faith travel sets are now in stock. Well, they're not in stock. They're available to purchase because they were unavailable to us for a while. Comes in this great pouch that I reuse all the time. You were getting to get travel sized um, portions of almost everything in their skincare lineup. I've reviewed this brand. I will leave this video down below. Great way to sort of try before you buy as it is a more luxury brand and it is currently sold out, but I did want to let you guys know that they will be back in stock um, on the first week of August. So I wanted to prompt you, if you haven't already and you were interested, go onto the Integrity Botanicals website. We've got a really great function when products are out of stock where you can type your email in and you will be notified as soon as it is. So those are now going to be in the website. Uh, provided we keep them in stock, but just keep that in mind. Now you can try that because I know I teased about it for a long time. So I wanted to formally mention. Next up from Axiology, we've got their super fan pack of their lip to lid balmies. I've reviewed these products. I love them. And if you love them too, you could try every single one of them, all 14 shades for $96. Really great value, variety of different shades that you can use. They can be used on your eyes, your cheeks, and your lips, and I will have my review on that item down below, but just really exciting for all of the Axiology super fans out there or future Axiology super fans. Then we've got a new skincare item from Distill. This is their Miracle Balm. I love a balm year round. This one's really great if you have more chapped or irritated skin. It's going to be really fantastic for that. So maybe if you use any products for um, acne and your skin gets all dry after the fact, this could be wonderful. But I did also want to point out the nice small size of this. This is just the size it comes in. Five milliliters. It's $28. I love that you feel like you get to the end of this, but also you're not overly committed if you didn't have your mind made up about it. So you could use this on your skin and your lips. It's an all-in-one skin and lip balm that is essential oil free. Um, it is meant to be restorative, hydrating, and soothing, which is why it's great for those more irritated chap skins that I've already spoken about. You know the drill with balms. They've got this more hard texture. Once you use the warmth of your fingers, they just sort of melt into a beautiful, luxurious sort of oil, but they usually pack a little bit more of a punch. Um, so again, if you have more dry skin, this is going to be phenomenal. This is something that I would use on an evening basis as I have more dry skin. I like a nice heavy dose of hydration, but this isn't too emollient or creamy. It still has that nice velvety texture. So definitely keep that in mind. We've got another SPF launch. This one is from Indy Lee. This is their mineral sunscreen SPF 30. So this is going to be one that you want to apply if you're outside and you're at the beach or you're doing any sort of outdoor activities. Um, it is uncoated zinc oxide, so it's going to come out quite white. I do like the larger sort of dispensable bottle. You are going to get 40 minutes of sweat and water resistance from this. It's unscented. Formulated with squalene, shea butter, and aloe. This is just going to be a little bit more of that. It's tougher to rub in. It will rub in, but it's that uncoated zinc oxide. So this is really just meant to protect the skin. I do like the texture of it. It's not at all sticky. It does still sink in. You just need to take a little bit more time rubbing this in. So probably one I would not wear underneath makeup or anything like that. But if I want something that's really going to get the job done, when again, I'm doing those outdoor activities or at the beach, this is going to be the one I am reaching for. And this is $42. 
Then we've got a new product launch from Rawa. We've got their Enchanted Islands shampoo and conditioner. Um, I've got the little trial sizes here. I've not used this yet, but I'm going to be washing my hair later today. I'll use it and I will write a little something down below or if you guys remind me in the comments that would be helpful as well so i am excited to use this however because the targeted use of this is for more dull hair that needs a little bit of shine and strengthening and i just don't have shiny hair i never do so if i could do something that will aid in that i absolutely will um this is a vegan formula which i know a lot of people enjoy about rawa it's formulated with rawa oil sacha inchi oil as well as buriti oil all really great for strengthening and nourishing the hair. Everything that we like Rawa oils in all of their products, it is their namesake. But what I like about this in particular, the Enchanted Island variety, is that it has a amazing guava coconut scent. It's perfect for summer. They do also have a lotion mist in the same fragrance. So if maybe this doesn't sound that appealing to you, that would be something to look into, but I'm familiar with the scent. I know I love it and I'm excited for my hair to smell like this later. That is a promise. Moving right along, Agent Natur. We do have a brand new lash and brow serum from them. I did just get this in the mail, so I need to try this as well. But the packaging on this is pretty neat. Um, it is meant to double as a styling serum. That's why it's got this more mascara, spoolie sort of wand. Of course, as you can imagine, this is meant to lengthen, define, and strengthen. Particularly amazing if you have more brittle lashes, because this is going to increase the hair growth. It's going to stimulate all of those follicle follicles. That's really what we're here for. But why this is so cool is that it doubles as a styling serum. So it goes on clear. So you can actually put this on top of your makeup. So I'm just brushing it through. It doesn't feel like too wet of a formula, which I really love. You can also wear this underneath your mascara. I'm going to test that because I want to make sure that whatever I put on top of it doesn't transfer because of that. But I love that little added step that they've included. So in here, there are three patented ingredients as well as the slew of other ones. But the ones to focus on are Folicusan, which is a milk-based bioactive, which helps stimulate those lash follicles, helps them grow long and strong. There's Capixil in here as well, which is a peptide combined with red clover extract that really targets that growth as well. Then there's Redensil, which targets the root causes of unhealthy hair. Um, so there's a million other things that help to nourish. You know, we want them to be conditioned in order to grow nice and long, not brittle and break. I have quite hairy eyebrows. I have quite long lashes. So I am, of course, going to test this. I mean, more is more in the lash department. That is for sure. But I would love to hear from those of you who struggle with much shorter lashes and are looking for a really great serum. I just know that I trust this brand through and through. Packaging's really great. I like the added function of it being a styling serum as well as being worn underneath the mascara. That's a nice little added thing to um, just consider when you are weighing your options as far as what brow lash serum is for you. But I will get to trying that. So just remind me and I will follow up, I promise. Then let's move along to Evolve. They've released a new moisturizer. I'm gonna throw up an image because I don't have this one. Always love the price point of Evolve and they usually have travel sizes in just about everything. So you could try before you commit to the full price item, but it is a lightweight, quickly absorbing matte finish moisturizer that is formulated with wild butterfly ginger, pink indigo, and squalene. I love squalene. Squalene is one of those oils that is so hot hydrating. It's um, olive based and our skin naturally produces it. So I think most people really get on with that, but I love it and it's just a good sort of hydrate and protect the skin barrier cream. I mean, what more could you ask for? It's just fuss free. And because of that matte, more velvety finish, I can imagine it being fantastic underneath makeup as well. So if you've tried that, let me know. Um, and maybe when I'm in need of a moisturizer, I will try that. It sounds like a perfect everyday option. Then from Fit Glow, Fit Glow always, right? I always get excited. We have their blurring bamboo hyaluronic powder. And this is simple. It is a weightless blurring powder formulated with bamboo and hyaluronic acid. So this is going to give you a really beautiful matte finish to the skin. It's very blurring. You know I like to use a powder like this 
wet it with my sponge and then just sort of press it into the desired area. It does wonders for skin texture. It's lightweight, it removes shine, it does everything you want it to do without looking too dry underneath the eyes. I have found that bamboo is the way to go as far as natural powders. All of my favorite ones include it, um, and that includes the 14E Aloe Nourish Powder, which I'm a huge fan of, as well as the 100% Pure Bamboo Blur. But this is a great, great price point at $28, and it is from Fit Glow, which is one of my absolute favorite, favorite brands. So that's new on the website. Then let's round things off with a couple new brands, shall we? Yes, there's a couple. There is a pair, first of which is the brand Rise Well. And I'm excited about this one. This is an all natural oral care line. We will be carrying their toothpaste here for adults. It is a wild mint flavor. There is also a kid formulated toothpaste as well as a mouthwash. So of course, this doesn't contain any of the nasties, no harsh chemicals, all of that good stuff. Um, this is naturally whitening. It helps boost the enamel within the teeth as well. So this, if you haven't used natural toothpaste before, they don't get as sudsy, but this still makes your mouth feel really, really clean. And I think that's what we all jones for, especially when you're first making that switch. This makes it so easy. I've been using this every single day. I have not the best enamel on my teeth, so something that focuses on that is great, and I've really been enjoying this, and the packaging is aesthetically pleasing as well. Then we've got the kids' toothpaste, which of course I do not have, but it is available um, for $12, same with the adults. And then we've got their mouthwash, which retails for $18. This I was particularly excited about because it is pH balanced, not formulated with any alcohol or anything that gives you that clean feeling that maybe isn't really doing what we want it to do or what we are told that it is supposed to do. Um, this also has that great wild mint flavor. Both products are formulated with xylitol, which gives it that sort of sweetness that we all kind of crave when it comes to oral care products. It just kind of is like the regular stuff you could go to CVS and get. But I have so, so enjoyed using these, you guys. That's a harder thing, like deodorant's a little bit tough to first switch to, um, oral care is really hard to first switch to, and those will make that switch so much easier. So try it if you've not already. Then we've got an exciting new cosmetic launch on the website. We are finally carrying Elate Cosmetics. We have been using them behind the scenes for quite some time. I used them years and years ago, but they have done a really wonderful job at repackaging, um, and they contain some really, really beautiful, high-performing products. The entire line is vegan, fab, um, formulated by the fabulous Melody Reynolds. So we are carrying a little bit of everything. We've got some really great powder blushes, these reusable pack palettes are completely phenomenal. They're made from bamboo. I've got this really great little eyeshadow one that I messed up earlier, whoops. But I've got this little eyeshadow palette. I mean, how perfect is that? Their press shadows are nice and small so I can fit everything in there. We've got some concealer, some blush balms, some brow balms. I'm gonna be testing all of this stuff for you guys, so let me know what you would like to see. I've been wearing a lot of the Elate blushes on my cheeks, so if you've been looking for what I have on and I haven't included it, that is why, but it is all available now. So now that it's available, I would absolutely love to know what you want me to review first. So many exciting products to try, and I will link them all down below for ya. So, that is it for the month of July, everyone. It was one of those months where there is a really nice mix of everything, which you know I always get particularly excited about. Again, if you wanna shop anything right here, right now, that's always gonna be in the description box down below. Down below is also all of our social media. We're everywhere. Make sure to check us out. That way you can be updated with any new launches that, um, happen right after this video, or you can always just subscribe, thumbs up, so that you can make sure that you are tuned in for the next one as well. And most importantly, before I go, please let me know what you want to see reviewed. I mean, it could be the makeup look I have on. I'm wearing a little bit of a late shadow as well. It could be anything, you guys. It doesn't need to be directly related to this. Just let me know because I appreciate your feedback so much. So that is it. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for all of the consistent love and support. Again, thumbs up and subscribe to this video, please. And I will catch you guys in my next one. Bye.